All right, hello everyone. My name is Enzo and welcome back to European Zalos 4. We are playing the Mario Strip expansion as Genoa. And there we go. Just turning down my volume a bit. Right. So for those of you who are sort of waiting for a uh, Stellaris episode, uh, I don't know. Um, I'm I'm in a sort of a mood for EU4 uh, over the last couple of weeks. So um, I don't know. It's just um, wanting to play EU4 a lot more than uh, Stellaris. So I'm, I'm having a lot more fun, in fact, with uh, EU4 than Stellaris. So I don't know. I thought it would be a good idea to just stick with um, uh, what I'm having fun with. Uh, because uh, in the end, uh, that's gonna probably produce the uh, most entertaining videos for you guys as well. And that, of course, is my main goal. So, um, yeah, so I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do with, uh, with uh, Solaris. I don't know. Perhaps uh, I think we'll put it on a sort of, uh, well, it is on a sort of uh, hiatus. Um, we might continue it. Probably, I guess. Uh, um, especially as we were at some, somewhat of a turning point in the game. Um, where we uh, would just uh, start a, a war, probably. So I'm, I'm still quite curious what will happen, and, and probably that will make the game a lot more fun as well. So I guess it makes sense to continue it at some point, but for now, I don't know, I'm, I'm not really feeling it anymore. So I'm gonna focus on EU4, I'm having a lot of fun with this game at least. Um, uh, so I hope you understand. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> uh, I don't know, um, perhaps we'll start looking for some other game. I, I, I said that before in a uh, channel update. Um, yeah, I just want to uh, mix things up a bit. Um, throw in some kind of other game, maybe some kind of uh, construction game, base building game, um, city building, something like that. I don't know. Uh, that would be fun, I think. So um, if you have any uh, good suggestions or ideas, then feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Uh, but for now, we'll focus on EU4. Right, so let's get back into it. Um, right, so in Europe, we can't really do anything. That's, I think, the main point here currently. Minus 43 still on aggressive expansion, so we can't... Yeah, there's not a lot to do. We basically... I mean, Siena... Yeah, it was all right. It's, it's good that we have it, but it uh, took up a lot of aggressive expansion, which was a shame. So for now, we are focusing on Africa, Gold Coast. Sending a uh, a colonist there, which is very good. Oh, Venice has announced as their rival. That's sort of fine. Um, in the meantime, it seems that um, Genoa's Brazil is still colonizing pretty nicely and doing very well, in fact. Um, yeah, we could also focus on Quito. Let's see. We still have the uh, rebels that might be coming in. Sienese. Uh, separatist for Siena um, so we'll probably leave these troops here for now and instead just use these troops to get our colony going and see what might happen also we are of course focused on Azov who are close to losing religious Zalazanism that's not a word but you know what I mean um, so at that point our missionary will probably start this uh, Joseph the first of a Austria actually Austria still exists. It's just not powerful at all Very interesting How this uh, game has developed France as well. I've, I keep saying this but France It's just amazing how not powerful they are and how Burgundy has basically taken over as the uh, dominant power in this region um, And Spain of course, I mean Spain is everywhere It's just horrendous <laughs> Because this means I, I'm not sure what we need to form Italy. Um, we could check, I suppose. Form Italian nation. So Milan, Verona. Oh, show superiority. Ah, okay. So these probably are all the dudes who were in our um, trade league until we disbanded it by uh, changing our uh, religion. Um, let's see, Verona, probably, I, I guess the Papal State would be a first target before we even get to Spain. So it's not that big of a deal yet. Um, Roma, Ancona's there, Roma's there. Actually, it might not be necessary. Firenze, I don't know where that is. There's probably some, some kind of problems that we actually need. Verona... Milan, Firenze. It's only Firenze, actually. That's 
It's right over there. Okay, so probably we won't need this stuff held by Castile to form it, uh, Italy. So that might be a good idea at some point. Um, but of course, the Papal State is allied with England, Burgundy, Gascony, and Venice. So that's going to be sort of impossible. We would need a, a very powerful ally, perhaps even Spain. We're now allied with Hungary and Portugal um, to like us a lot more. Although they are a neighboring heretic religion, so that's going to be very difficult indeed. Hmm. Sweden's probably too far away. Lithuania is still powerful, still under Poland. Uh, and they are only allied with Venice. Poland might be a good ally at some point. Um, who are we sucking up to? To Augsburg, right, for the Trade League. Let's see if this works. Let's just uh, suck up to them and see, see what happens at least. Bohemia is powerful as well. And they like us quite a lot here. Same religion, improved religion. They're allied with the Ottomans. We were trying to actually get on their good side. Uh, but they are hostile towards us. So for now, that's not going to work. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. How's our ships doing, by the way? 28 out of 38. So we could do with a lot more caravels, actually. You can now pick an aspect of faith. Yeah, we are at 100 points. Nice. And actually, uh, Azov has started to convert here. Okay, um, apparently you can pick a three, I think. Let's see, development cost minus five would be good. Uh, especially as we haven't done a lot of developing just yet, so I think that might be a good idea. Uh, stability cost modifier minus 10% is all right, I suppose, but we haven't really needed it at all. Our stability doesn't tend to drop a lot. So that's good. Missionary strength plus one, yeah. I mean, it's a bit too late now. We've basically converted everyone. And converting a new province isn't all that difficult. Discipline would be nice, of course, plus 2.5% in uh, military stuff. Morale of armies, plus 5. Morale of navies, plus 5%. Both is very good as well. Yuri prestige, plus uh, 050. Would be good, I suppose. Currently, we are still gaining quite a lot, plus 1.76, just because we are below zero, I think. It's gonna... Um, Increase slower and slower the more we get to the closer we get to uh, to zero. I think is how it works is um, Yeah, that's probably the way it works here uh, yearly Republican tradition plus oh one Would be good. That's a 10% increase basically Yeah, well, I don't know It's nice I suppose global settler increase plus 15 not really necessary anymore because our colonies are doing this themselves i suppose we could help them but we are not really focused on colonizing at the moment just because we don't have the money to support it so basically i think we need something with money let's let's take a look manpower recovery speed is good but not impressive idea cost minus five percent would of course be nice so that's what uh 20 point uh, 20 monarch points per uh, per idea right yeah Production efficiency plus 10%, that would be pretty good. Although we are focused on trade. Should be focused on trade, I should say. National unrest minus one is good as well. Okay, so not really something with trade, unfortunately. Um, but I do want to focus on something that is good for our economy. So development costs would be nice. But that's not a passive bonus. That's only That only works when you build something of course so you have to spend it to be able to uh, make good use of this and currently we don't have a lot of spending power actually so perhaps it would be best to first focus on production efficiency let's see if that's um let's see production we are making 4.94 uh trade is much more important for us because now we are making uh, 10.37 uh, but i still think that given that it, that is the only flat out bonus to income I think I'm right in saying I think that's still a good idea um, allow usury I don't know how you uh, pronounce that is usury usury Madagusaris. right okay that's done that's nice so we can actually um, convert the Gold Coast as well uh, but oh that's interesting they are now oh yeah we can create a, a trading company as well they are actually fetishists. So, 
Um, our colony hasn't really started with our uh, faith, our religion, I mean. Okay. Uh, the triangle triangle trade. Let's see. Price of slaves changed by 50%. Gain a lot of ducats. Gain prestige for Spain. You lucky bastards. Okay. I think we should probably focus on getting our uh, economy a bit stronger because we can't really support a whole lot right now. What we can do, I think, is yeah, we can lower the um, army maintenance at least because we are losing quite a lot of money because of it. Let's do that. Um, and in the meantime, I mean, we really haven't been in a position to lower our army maintenance at a lot of points in the game just because we've been so busy. Not only in the old world, but in a new world as well. Um, okay, so now we will use this to hopefully increase our trading power. 90 and 80. Whoops. Uh, I suppose it's alright. It's not impressive, but... Naval force limit plus 2 for a shipyard. That's pretty good. Uh, but I think... Yeah, that actually would work. So... In that case, do we have a dry dock here? No, we don't. But we can actually still build it. That's not going to cost 91 ducats then, though. Is it? Because that's really cheap. For a two increase in naval force limit. Well, then again, I suppose the the uh, thing we should be most concerned about is not the, uh, the naval force limit, but rather our ability to actually build the ships. Okay. Um, manufacturing would be nice. Oh, you can't afford it, though. Church plus 10 could be good, I suppose. Plus 32% local tax modifier. Very impressive. I, I suppose we'll do that first. Doesn't really matter. Let's see, we can probably increase some tariffs here as well, because we are only making 50 cents for each of our... Um, are we actually winning this fight? I want to check. Oh, yeah, easily. Oh, that's good. So we could probably drop down our um, force limit, our army maintenance even more then. Morocco will cede a lot of stuff to Portugal. Yeah, there you go. Portugal has just grown immensely. Very good for them. Um, we could raise this, but I really don't want the... Uh, well, the terrorists are only 2%. So we could... I mean, it's alright, I suppose. Decrease tariffs, increase tariffs, spend 50 to increase by 5%. Will increase liberty desire by 1%. That's actually doable, I suppose. Um, I don't know. For now, I think we'll keep it like this. We can always erase it later, I suppose. Let's ra um, lower this a bit. We have suffered casualties, so it will go up later. Okay. Full annexation. So mines doesn't exist anymore. England declared war upon Scotland, so I think it's it's probably not gonna last longer this. At some point England will probably have taken over the entire uh, islands there. Okay, Azov has been converted. We can't convert the uh, colony just yet, just because it hasn't finished yet. I think that's the uh, thing that's keeping us from doing that. Assign province to your trading company. This will give less tax and manpower, but increase its value for trade. Yeah, I think we'll probably do that at some point. I guess we should... C could we do this right now? This will found a new trade company in West African Charter. Giving control of Gold Coast, Gold Coast to our new company will greatly improve its value for building a trade empire, but reduce its value as a source of troops and, tra and taxes. Local trade plow plus 100%. Jeez. Tax modifier minus 50. Local missionary strength minus 100. Manpower modifier minus 100, Sailors modifier minus 100, and Naval Force limit plus 50. Uh, plus 050, actually. I think that's good. Let's do it. So they are now part of the uh, trading company here. Let's see, can we actually see that somewhere? suppose we should... We could actually promote mercantilism at some point as well, by the way. Just to increase our income. Well, uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a shame, though, because the uh, diplomatic points are very, very powerful right now. Um, let's see, um, we can't really... Right, and then we are, West African Charter. Enable promote investments. 
increased trade power in all trade companies' provinces by 50% while causing an annual inflation of 003%. That's nice. Um, currently, we are not generating any income because of this, probably just because um, it hasn't finished yet. And I'm, I'm thinking probably there is not a lot of money going through here. Now the question becomes, do we want to... We are actually transferring to the Caribbean right now. That doesn't seem particularly helpful. The question now becomes, do we want to collect here? Or do we want to send it onwards to Sevilla? Um, of course, that makes it more valuable. But the problem is that most of the trade power here is actually lost. Uh, to to Spain itself, and it's not being transferred to Genoa. So I, I guess that would only be beneficial to us if we have more power here, which we can't have just because of uh, Spain, of course. So, I, I don't know, perhaps we should collect here. Um, in that case, we should actually try and get a merchant from somewhere. Uh, we've got four of them. We're actually forwarding here to Constantinople. I don't know why that is. I think we really should collect, right? This is Const no, it's Exa Alexandria. Oh, Constantinople. No, Constantinople is here, yes. I don't want to forward there. Should we collect, I think, here? Let's see what that earns us. We have some of the power here, at least. Let's wait for the tick, and then we'll see where our uh, fourth merchant is. Oh, and champagne. Yeah, one ducat. That's actually pretty impressive for uh, one month. Uh, for um, one tick. One ducat per tick, yeah. Pretty nice. Um, okay, and the other one is in champagne. Um, we are for forwarding quite a lot to Genoa. I guess our, sh our next idea group should be in uh, in trading, in, in economy at least. What if we were to recall this merchant? We are now forwarding 0.94 to Genoa. Let's see if that still happens here. 0.24. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, fine. Yeah, okay, so we lost 80 cents there. But now we can use him to collect from trade here. And that's hopefully gonna earn us this instead of having to transfer it onwards. We'll take some time. Let's increase our speed a bit here. Not earning anything just yet, but probably there will be a tick. Yeah, 41 cents. Okay. So, I, I guess we lost overall by removing the, uh, the merchant from here. Uh, who's forwarding as well? The Papal State. We are forwarding 74 cents here. I was uh, thinking if we should... Uh... Oh, Dauphine is also forwarding. Uh, if we should remove this merchant here. But I, I think this one was the least effective. And of course, this will increase in power. Oops. The, uh, the, more we, the more provinces we get here. So what I'll do is probably send another group of dudes. Uh, where's our ships though? You... We'll go home, you will pick up, whoops, some dudes, and we will use you to do some more colonization. I don't think this will spawn anytime soon, so it should be fine. Um, what I guess we'll do is split you up for now and move you there. There's six, no, 4k troops, so it should be fine. Uh, and then we will move you back when our other troops arrive. Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay, let's see. We are making about four ducats a month, which is nice. Okay, there's the uh, transport ships. And then we are. You will all go aboard. And you will transport those dudes uh, right over there. And you can repair there. Okay, building church is almost finished here. Revolt. High taxes, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Siena. Local unrest plus 10, or 20% local autonomy for 5 years. Local unrest minus 5, just listed it out. I'm all about averting those uh, situations. Uh, the Ottomans have declared. They still are hostile towards us. 
Okay. And you should be close now. Yes. Very nice. New provinces. I like it. Is this Portugal? I don't think it is. Doesn't really matter. There's still some provinces here. I guess we could call in a war against these dudes. Although they are military tech 9. Well, I hadn't expected that. Whoops. That was my phone. Just getting some Twitter messages. Um, that's interesting. I don't know. So we sh really should pay attention to uh, what we are doing here and uh, making sure. Yeah, let's add you to the uh, to the charter. Um, making sure that we aren't being overrun here by uh, natives. Well, not natives. The uh, native countries. Uh, yeah, it was actually close, but fine. Okay, good. So the colonies are now growing. Perhaps you should have taken the other um, the a other aspect there. We can't convert anyone. The uh, aspect for increased um, colonists, I mean. But I think we're fine for now. Uh, okay, these won't spawn. Terrace on grain. Uh, better leave it be, probably. Don't want to increase the taxes. Although this is a free increase in uh, terror, okay. No, I don't really, I don't want to start on a path where we might lose these colonies. If we do, we would be in a lot of trouble. I think at all costs we should have... Uh, okay. We should really keep these uh, these nations, because those are a sort of um, gates gateway into these uh, territories here. Okay. Lose one ferocity, that's fine. I like how clean our um, pop-ups are now. Nothing to worry about, basically. Gain 100 population in Gold Coast. Nice. Where's your leader has died? Conquistador. We'll get you a new one. New Conquistadors for everyone. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's uh, 3030. Okay, so we might be able to build some more buildings here. I think we will, just because of um, increased development. Seems pretty good. So taxes... Um, are maxed out here so probably focus on trade right now still making money though even though we have two colonies going which I suppose is a result of the fact that our uh, army maintenance is pretty low right now which is good we could send another colonist but I think it might become too expensive then Well, yeah, it would cost us 2.10 gold coins a month. And if we get another one after that, then it will grow exponentially. But until that point, it's just a flat rate of 2.10 for each colony that we have going. Uh, but that's too expensive. We would lose uh, quite a lot of money. We are, of course, making uh, spending money on uh, reading out of corruption, but I really want to keep that going. Um, recall with Poland. The fear of crypto-Catholics... Ever present in our state is the fear that some who profess professes to believe in all aspects of our state church are still secretly a Catholic sympathizer. One noble family in particular, though firmly entrenched in the machinery of the state, is said to have papist leanings. As the years drag on, these rumors refuse to die and would now seem almost impossible for us to ignore. Restrict this family from holding offices, gain 10 church power, lose uh, admin power, 20. They must be put on trial. Well, that's a bit harsh. Uh, 20 church power, tolerance, uh, tolerance of uh, truth faith plus 050, tolerance of heretics plus 1, minus 1 actually, church power plus 10% for 5 years. Ignore these vile rumors. Lose church power, gain admin power. I think we'll go with the first one. Just a small bonus to our church power for some small penalty to our admin tech. We really need to get our admin tech uh, to level 10 now. To level 9 actually we're lagging behind quite a bit it's fair to say I think so did we increase our um, trade power here uh, Spain actually has the most power here Geno has only 6% right now but then again of course these aren't fully grown provinces yet so I guess that's fair enough right what I think we'll do is uh, oh was that a war 
Brittany and Burgundy and Gascony all on France. Oh dear. Um, what I think we'll do is uh, put in a cut and uh, um, yeah, just uh, I think this was a, a sort of a nice episode to uh, figure out what's going on and focus on Africa as well. I think this would be nice if we can get a, uh, a nice, nice large charter going on. Although Portugal is coming in here. Luckily, perhaps we might be able to do something with Mali. They are threatened towards us. Could be a good ally in attacks from uh, from other dudes here. Uh, they would ally us. I don't know. Let's think about that and uh, we'll see in the next episode. For now, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, thank you. Bye-bye.